Welcome to All Parts Equipment and Accessories. Today we will be exchanging the ceramic pistons out of the D23415 piston cap. The ceramic plunger kit is a D23487-PPK and it will allow us to replace the ceramic plungers with a stainless steel plunger. Now this particular ceramic plunger is in one piece. We didn't have any broken ones to show, but typically this is going to be sheared at this point here and all you're going to have is a cap with a small piece of ceramic in it. Um, in order to do this repair, we recommend a vise, a block wood or something similar and place your piston in it. Now, I'm going to ask that you put on safety glasses. We want to make sure we have our safety glasses on. Because it is ceramic, we don't want to, make, we don't want to have anything pop at us. Um, in your instructions, in reference number 7, you'll see that you're going to use a 7 18 plunger punt, which is this here. You're going to see that we have two small holes in the top of these caps. This allows us to take and knock the old plunger out, put it in here, You'll start to feel it move back and forth here. As you'll see, we're knocking the piston ceramic plunger out by putting those in here. As we continue, Our plunger is out now. This particular plunger, being that it was whole, hit the bottom, so it took a little extra. You're going to see after we take this out that the old ceramic plunger did not go all the way to the bottom. Our new plungers, you will drive all the way to the bottom into this new surface material using Loctite that will allow the new plunger to seat itself properly. We included Loctite with the kit. Open up your Loctite. Snip the end off here. You'll see on the piston, there's a groove. This is allowed Loctite to seat into the piston cap. At this time, we'll take this cap. Put our Loctite in there. Take our Loctite here. On the cap. Now we're going to take this cap. Because this is beveled here, it allows us to strike it with a, a dead blow hammer. Make sure as you start to put this in, it's straight. Continues to go in. You're going to drive it in until it's all the way to the bottom. Now, driving in it on a block of wood takes a little more force. We can see now we're driven all the way to the bottom. The cap is there. We'll see the Loctite there. That's fine to leave it like that. We ask that you allow these to dry for 24 hours before installing them back in the pump. Do the same exact thing to the second piston as we did the first. Make sure that we do both at the same time because the weight difference of the ceramic versus the stainless steel, they have to be repaired as a set. Thank <laughs> you.